Thank you so much, Mwikali. And let's dive into today's subject on how to master your time and the value of your time. Many people, of course, this is uh, a concept perhaps many people don't think about because what many people do is just get busy. Um, and when you're always busy, then you don't know how much actually you're getting out of your life, how much you're getting out of your time. Um, and so time, of course, all of us know that time is something once it's gone, you will never have it back, never. And it's one of those things that how you spend it, who you spend it with, matters a lot because it's all about value the value that you bring in each moment um that what that's what really differentiates one person from an another person when it comes to time the concept of time is very interesting my friend because um you can spend one hour with someone and feel like you know, you just want to go on and on, like it's been a minute. And someone else, you spend 10 minutes with them and you're like, when will you leave? You know, uh, you can't wait for this person to leave. So 10 minutes can actually feel like you have been with them for a decade, like it's been 10 years. And you know, 10 hours can feel like 10 minutes. So I want you to understand the concept, the concept of time is also relevant. Um, it depends on how you value that connection with that person. But a few other things that I would like to discuss today. And one of it is if money, if time is money and, um, you're paid for the value you bring to the market, then how can you grow your value? That's a question. That's a brilliant question to ask yourself. How can I grow my value? How can I build my value? Whenever you add more value to yourself, you actually, the universe will reward you for value. We are paid for the value we bring to the marketplace. And if your value is not visible, then that means there's no value. And that's really uh, the humble pie that most of us need to take. Maybe you're convincing yourself you're adding value and there is actually no value. Ask yourself. This is why we do evaluations in coaching uh, to really know the truth because sometimes you, you you know you can convince yourself um and hate on people why they're not paying you what you are worth uh because they are not the money you're getting and the value perceived or you know you perceive you bring to the marketplace it's not adding up okay so the thing is, do an honest evaluation of where you are. Be honest with yourself. Yeah, drop the hype and just be real. Be real with yourself. Where are you? What is the value you bring to the team? What is the value you bring to the organization? Is there really value? Sometimes the value, the issue is not you. The, the issue is the value. You're not presenting the value in a way that is perceived. So you can be adding a lot of value, but people don't perceive it. That means you've not done your communication well. You don't communicate value. You communicate the opposite. Some of us, we work against ourselves. We put, you know, our, the foot on our mouth and we can't really speak and communicate our value. And so, but the thing is, your boss will pay you the value perceived. If losing you to your boss um means an opportunity your boss would do that because the reason your boss is paying you is because there's value you are adding and that's why i am an advocate for personal development and self-education 
Don't depend on your degree. Grow yourself. Develop yourself. Add more value to yourself. Learn how to communicate. These soft skills, they really add value to you. And people begin to perceive you as a valuable person. Okay, are we together? So it's good to add value to yourself. Read books. I mean, just set a time. Things we've been talking about in this show with Mikali to equip you to actually be a wholesome human being that can come on the negotiation table and place a value that is worth their time. Okay, now that's one. So develop yourself. Do anything to equip yourself, to develop yourself, to push your limits, to grow yourself emotionally, mentally, psychologically, you know, in terms of relationship, in terms of communication, learn whatever you need to learn. That's number one. Number two, you want to focus, you know, evaluate your focus because time really to me, Mikali, is how you spend, uh, how how much time spend on focusing on what? I don't know whether that's good English, but hey, I'm com am I communicating? So how much time am I spending focusing on what? Because some people are busy, but busy doing what? I see people brag, you know, me, I work hard. I wake up at four. To do what? You're waking up at four to do what? Tell me what you've been doing at four. Don't brag about that. What is the, the results of waking up at four? You know, I'm so hardworking. Look at this. I'll give you a formula that you can use to just simplify your life. It matters value and it matters time. It matters money. We all agree. Time and money are like conjoined twins. You spend one, you spend one to get the other. Spend one, get the other. Spend one, get the other. Time and money. You spend more money to create more time. Spend, you know, more time to create more money. Um, and the wisdom is if you can have, if you can have um, to spend less time and get more money, that's the wisdom. That's really the breakthrough. Can you spend more can you spend less time and get more money? That is the prayer. That is what all of us are after. If I can only have two hours of work and earn the same money, praise the Lord. I'll be happy. Uh, it's not about how long. This thing about hard work, forget it. It's not about how hard work you, how, you know, hard you work. Is about how smart you are. I'll give you the formula. Let me give you because I promised to do this. Um, the formula is called RPM. 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 R stands for results. P stands for purpose or why. And then M stands for massive action. So anything you'll ever do with your time, always ask yourself, what's the result? I want you to get obsessed with results because this is what successful people do. Results. I better be labeled uh, someone that, what's the name? Someone that is not really into spending time for small talk. I, I'll better be labeled that. I, in fact, I'll take it with honor. Than to spend time and inside, I just feel this conversation is going nowhere. What a waste of my time. Because if you continue like that, then you create low self-esteem. You And you elevate other people above you. You need to tell people, no, I have to go. Thank you so much. This has been exciting conversation so far, hopefully. But it's my time to go. So you're thinking... What is the result are we after? What is the why? Why? Why do we want those results? If I can't find why, I'm gone. I'm out to the next thing. Hello, life is too short to just have chit chat throughout your life. You know, some people, the only thing they know is chit chat. That's why when you invite people for deep conversations, they will not come. 
they want chit chat they just want chit chat and and that's it and we are gone life moves on tomorrow wake up chit chat your entire life is a chit chat you're cheating on yourself i'm telling you um and so even if it's a call even if you're calling someone you want to tell yourself before the call ask yourself what are the results what results am I after to make this call? Have you ever been called by someone 2 a.m. in the morning? Hello? <laughs> Just calling to say, hey. Man, really? 2 a.m. in the morning. You're calling me to say, hey. This is where purpose-driven life comes in. It's all about time. Because you're wasting people's time. Lock yourself and your time. Make yourself more valuable by operating in the thinking of RPM, results. When you get into a board meeting, into a boardroom, ask yourself, what results are we after? If you're the CEO or the leader of the organization, think results. Otherwise, you're wasting people's time. What are we after? What is this meeting every Tuesday morning for? What is this meeting every Thursday evening for? You know, you're just meeting for tea. No tech tea. I saw an organization tea alone. And I know so many people is going to half a million a year. You're taking tea. And all we're doing is just take tea. <laughs> For what? For what reason? And then you go to relationships, the same thing. People are taking tea. Java is making good money, and I pray for Java. You know, do well in your business and market to all these couples. But you spend it taking tea for seven years, my friend. You, is it PhD in relationships? And you're still struggling with small things. It's because the way of thinking is wrong. Time, if time is money, the level of your thinking and the way you think will determine how much value. Now, let me tell you how people think reverse. This is what people don't know, that instead of start thinking results, they always think uh, massive action, massive action, massive action. So they start from reverse. And you want to be so busy. Busyness does not equal results. I'm also a CEO of an organization, Destiny Life Coaching. For me, the way I work with my staff is it doesn't matter the time. In fact, I may not even see you for a week. But are there results? Are there results? I just want results. This other conversation of, you know, I went to see who died, who was buried, who rose. No, just want results, period. And if you can work for one hour a week and give me results, good. The reason for the organization, success of organization is results. It's not the small talk. It's not how much, you know, we praise each other. It's results. So you can manage your life the same in terms of adding more value. Think results. What results are we after? In that relationship, think results. My brother, seven years you're taking a sister to Java. You're taking a sister away out, you know, seven years. Why? And, you you know, the sister, why are you agreeing to just be taken around? Why? What, what, what are you doing with your life? If one year down the line, there is no vision, move on. You're waiting on the Lord. Which Lord? The Lord is waiting on you to wake up. No, I'm just waiting on the Lord. No, 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 no. Move on. It's a waste of your time. By the time you're 40 and calling me and asking me, Jeff, uh, how do I start again? You'll have wasted. Well, I'll, I'll still help you, but you'll have wasted a lot of time. So this is a time to embrace RPM. What are the results? What results am I after? So that you can focus your time. Because where your focus goes, your energy will flow there. Focus your time. Focus your time. Focus is everything. Focus is the currency of success. Where is my focus? It's not just about being busy. What are you focusing on? What have you been on? Oh, I've been very busy. 
waking up at four, sleeping at, you know, minutes to four. I actually don't sleep at all. And people are like, wow, Jeff, working hard, man. Hard work pays. No, it doesn't. It's not about hard work. It's all about strategy. And it's about taking back your life and bringing value to your life so much. If you've not slept because you're working on yourself, I understand. Sometimes I get so obsessed with working on myself, I have no sleep because I really feel like I need to develop this idea into something. And so I'm inspired and I'm driven. That is okay. But do you know there are people who wake up at four to watch TV? Waking up at four to go online, see how many people have liked you. No, 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 no. It's time to take back your life. Results. Purpose. Why? Why do I want these results? And after you are clear on those two, massive action. When you are clear on the results you want with that girl and with that lady, and you know, you're clear on why. Massive action. Let's hear the wedding bells. Let's eat them chele. Eh? Yeah? Not 10 years. You know, you're still Googling and looking around. No. Move on with your life because time is precious. Otherwise, you lose 10 years just like that. Well, thank you so much for having me, Wikali. Back to you. And guys, you can reach me on Breakthrough with Jeff, both on YouTube and on Instagram. Thank you. God bless. Jeff, just so you know, I'm 33, closer to 40. I might be requiring your services, but that was such an important conversation to have and just helping us to look at time and how valuable it is to us. And I really, really, really love the, uh, the formula that you've given us, that is RPM, results, purpose, and mass action, and how we should be working backwards and we should constantly be thinking results where are you getting into these meetings where are you going on those dates for seven years is it a phd wow jeff jeff you were raw today but yes we're here for it we're here to take it so constantly think results do not tolerate mediocre people do not be around people who constantly drain you stop elevating other people and putting yourself down just because you can't stand your ground it's okay to say no no is a complete answer choose you value your time it's priceless i hope you took notes on that we're going to take a very short commercial break we'll be right back